That's Paco. Hey, Paco. Hey, Paco. That's my parents' dog. Paco Oyos. Say hi. Do something. He's like really calm all the time, but then sometimes he gets crazy and he like jumps up. But I think he just wants to lay here in the sun. I am on my way to go to the comic book shop and ship out a bunch more orders. I'd like to take you on that journey. Bye, Paco. Well, good morning or good afternoon. It's 2 p.m. Long night, late start. It's not the best way to start a day, but I'm off to print and ship many, many things. Orders on the website. Um, it's gonna be a long day. And as some of you know, I now have the pillows stored at my friend's comic shop. And that's where I basically am doing my shipping for the time being. And yeah, it's going well. It's just uh, the post office knows me really well. <laughs> um, and it's a different little experience for me, but it's fun. I'm really having a good time with it. So my surroundings look like this right now. If you've watched my vlogs, you might be thinking, what? This looks nothing like where he lives. I have moved from my apartment, which was an unofficially titled Throw Boy Factory 2.0. I am moving away from Seattle. I am moving to St. Louis, Missouri in April. And that's gonna be a big new adventure for me. And I have business contacts out there and just kind of a new adventure for me. I've been in Seattle for a long time and I just wanted to have, you know, kick off something new for myself for the year 2014. So I'm staying at my parents' cabin for a month. And right now that's where I am. That's why I'm in this rural setting. But I'm having a good time. It's just been kind of like, I haven't been able to, um, slow down since the pillows got here everything's just been going so fast shipping all the time uh, talking to lots of stores I need to make a page on the website that shows all of the stores that now carry throw boy pillows because it's getting crazy one of my goals for 2014 was to quote get into at least one store and I'm over that now at the time of this vlog I think I'm at around 20 stores so Super, super, super cool, right? Live from Bedford Stuyvesant, son, the livest one Representing BK to the bullets, gats a bullet All right, just arrived. Gotta pack up a whole bunch of mail, probably a couple trips, because I have a tiny car. And then I'm gonna print more. <laughs> labels and ship out more pillows. It's gonna be a shipping day. Mail call. Probably fit about five bags in there. All right, off we go. Luckily, the post office is directly across the street. So today's orders are shipped. Now I need to go across the street where they have internet and actually start printing all of the other labels from the past days. So yeah, my routine is basically print out like a large stack of labels, come over to this room, and start sticking them on all the different envelopes and package them out. The post office is getting very familiar with me. They're really cool though. Um, and every time I go, they always give me some bags because I always show up with many, many bags and I'm like, okay, I need more bags. So we just kind of trade. So yeah, I'm just gonna go across the street, set up shop, start printing out labels. So this is nerdy stuff, and this is the throw boy wall. Boom. How awesome is that? So people can just walk up, feel the pillows. Everything's here. I love the, the wall stuff, it's super cool. We're actually gonna use this at Comic Con so we can have everything easily displayed and you can see everything. So that's gonna be really nice. But yeah, they have a ton of really cool things here. I really like these. And they got the Funko Pop vinyls, 
t-shirts. But yeah, it's really sweet to be able to see these in person. You know, it has a tag on it now. It's just so, <laughs> such a store thing now. Hey, we should play DC Deck Builder since I'm gonna teach uh, Roberto how to play. We should play DC Deck Builder. You want to get in on that, Roberto? Right now? Whenever you get a chance. One good slash bad thing about the shop is it's right next to a Domino's, so I eat here a lot. So I have about an hour before the store closes, and I've printed out a pretty hefty amount of labels of orders. And now I'm doing this very technical <laughs> way of sorting things, which is basically just making piles of everything. And then I'm going to pack them up, hopefully, before the night is over. And then tomorrow I will come down here and get everything shipped out. The next big move I really want to do is have a fulfillment center take care of the shipping for me. It's been something I wanted to do for a long time, but now it makes a lot of sense because now I have all the, all the inventory and it's difficult to keep up with shipping. It would be nice to be able to hand that over to somebody who's very experienced at shipping. I think it's good to kind of find good resources and you know if somebody's really good at X have them do it. Say for example I don't want to do all of my accounting have an accountant do that. You know same thing with shipping and hopefully that will make everything much faster, much smoother and I won't have to do this. <laughs> Cause I got more cool stuff to do. I get to make products. I get to make videos. I got a lot of stuff to do. <laughs> but lately it's been shipping. Every every day has been shipping. <laughs> which is great. Which is great. I'm not complaining. Just always trying to improve. But I think that's gonna do it for today's vlog. Thanks for watching. And if you're new here, hello, my name is Roberto. And I will see you next week. Sure, next week. Let's try that. Bye.